Hey YouTube, welcome back. Now, despite the lack of content updates for New Horizons, there always seems to be a steady stream of headlines surrounding the Animal Crossing franchise. This is especially true even now, as Nintendo continues to market New Horizons four years after its initial launch. Not that I'm complaining. So we're back once again to break down all of the latest news that you need to know this week and cramming it all into a single video for your convenience. Of course, before we get into things, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel to make sure you get all of the latest Animal Crossing news as and when it happens. And let's get into it. <laughs> Now, some pretty interesting stuff is expected to happen next week, which we'll get into shortly, but the most important headline this week continues to be the shutdown of Nintendo's online services. Now, I know I've mentioned this recently, but I can't stress how important it is, so we're going to briefly recap it again before we get into the new stuff. In just two days' time on April 8th, the multiplayer servers and various other online functionalities will be shut down for the Nintendo 3DS and Wii U platforms. And of course this includes the Animal Crossing servers which means we'll no longer be able to visit other players towns, visit dream addresses or meet with friends or randomers to play mini games going forward. So we literally have two days left to enjoy this officially before it's shut down forever. Now the reason this is so important is not only is this a pretty significant milestone for video games and Animal Crossing, but the general activity simply reminds Nintendo how popular a franchise is and who knows could influence how they move forward with a franchise. So I would encourage anyone with Animal Crossing New Leaf to jump in and enjoy it this weekend whilst you still can and let Nintendo know how much we love the online aspect of Animal Crossing games. And who knows, maybe we'll bump into each other on a random island over the weekend. I will just clarify this shutdown doesn't affect Nintendo Switch, so New Horizons is of course safe for now. Next up, we have some new Animal Crossing news that you may find super interesting, especially if you're collecting the LEGO Animal Crossing sets. As I'm sure you know by now, several LEGO Animal Crossing sets were released last month and seems to be extremely popular within the community right now. Well, we actually have some good news for those buying and collecting these sets. It was revealed yesterday that a large toy store chain is set to give away some free mini builds, which which are smaller versions of their larger counterparts next weekend, including one for the Animal Crossing franchise. From Saturday 13th, Smith Toys will be inviting customers into store to build a mini Animal Crossing house and doesn't even require a purchase, which is pretty awesome. Now, some of you may recognize this mini build as the same house that the actual Lego stores were offering at the launch of the Lego Animal Crossing sets that are now no longer longer available. So it's super exciting that these can now be obtained again and for free, especially given scalpers have taken to online marketplaces to sell these for a profit, which is super frustrating. Anyway, originally I thought this Animal Crossing house mini build was supposed to be Maple's house to coincide with the release of the Maple pre-order bonus, and I don't think I was alone. However, looking into these sets again, it's actually a miniature version of Fauna's house, which is of course one of the larger Animal Crossing sets available and the one that comes with the Isabel minifigure. Either way, this is super exciting to see these become available again and a great opportunity for those who don't want to spend silly amounts of money on the larger sets who still want to get something for their collection. Plus, heading into store and building something that you get to keep is a super fun activity and great for LEGO and Animal Crossing fans alike. Anyway, moving on, we do have some non-LEGO Animal Crossing news to highlight, but first, this previous story kind of sets up the next Animal Crossing news this week, as the Maple pre-order bonus we mentioned earlier 
is also making headlines. Maple's Pumpkin Patch Poly Bag, which is a small Lego Animal Crossing set, was of course given away as pre-order bonuses, as well as a free item you could obtain in Lego stores when you purchase the larger Lego Animal Crossing sets. I think you had to spend a certain amount of money to be offered this mini set, but still is hugely popular and a lot of collectors were able to get their hands on it, including scalpers. Anyway, it seems that this set is now officially out of stock, especially from LEGO themselves, and now despite Maple's pumpkin patch being a free promotional item, it's rapidly becoming a collector's item and already selling for more than it was a few weeks ago on the second-hand market. Anyway, I'm including this story not because it's becoming popular or even because scalpers are flipping these for way higher than they're worth, but because if you search around a little bit, there are some sites still selling these for a sensible RRP. Personally, I was able to order one for a little over three pounds this morning to make sure there weren't any stock issues. I'll probably give it away on Twitter when it arrives, so be sure to follow over there. So yeah, it's pretty good news if you're an Animal Crossing collector this week, so I thought these were worth mentioning as there's still a chance to get the Maple Pumpkin Patch without having to pay scalpers, as well as a fresh opportunity to build Isabelle's mini house next week for free without spending any money. Anyway, moving on for those that don't care for LEGO, Nintendo's latest blockbuster sale is still available, offering huge discounts for Nintendo Switch games. This, of course, ends tomorrow, a day before the online service for the 3DS shut down. Now, I bring this up because not only is Animal Crossing New Horizons now available for the lowest it's ever cost to purchase, but it's worth noting that Animal Crossing Happy Home Paradise is also available with a significant discount. And actually, this is probably more useful to you than knowing New Horizons has a discount. Anyway, Animal Crossing New Horizons is now only £33, down from £50, and the Happy Home Paradise DLC is only £15, down from £22. And of course, both can be purchased together for the same 30% discount. This is the lowest these have been available, including the DLC, which I'm not even sure has been available at a discounted price before, but don't quote me. Now, this is pretty important when you think about what's happening with Animal Crossing new leaf right now. Imagine when the Nintendo Switch servers get shut down. It will essentially make Happy Home Paradise unobtainable and be lost forever for those like myself who rely on the Nintendo Switch Online access to play the Animal Crossing New Horizons Happy Home Paradise DLC. So maybe it's worth us picking up our own digital copy so we actually own a version of Happy Home Paradise to call our own now that it's available for cheaper rather than kind of renting it. Of course, that is a long way off, but something to think about. Personally, I still hope a physical version of Happy Home Paradise will release one day, but you never know. So there we have it, that's pretty much everything surrounding Animal Crossing that you need to know right now with some pretty important goings on happening in the next week or so. If you'd like to find out more about the changes we can expect to see in New Horizons in-game this month, be sure to check out my previous video where we break down eight updates and changes around the New Horizons island in April. It's great for newer players and almost nostalgic at this point for veteran players. I think you'll enjoy it. Thank you to the Patreon and channel members for supporting this content. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.